Welcome to your 2020 astrology forecast. Let's get started. Overview. Mars moves through Pisces May 13th to June 28th, and this will put a jet engine into your personal dreams and goals that may have laid dormant since 2017. In May, you will need to talk to a friend, a non-Piscean, before making any big commitments, as there are some deceptive influences around you, and you just can't see it. This is not a year for travel. Instead, you will be exploring your inner world. Do you have outdated beliefs about money or your self-worth? Are there issues you need to work through? Pisceans born February 21 through 29. Uranus is sextile to the sun while in Taurus. This is a happy time to explore new ideas and to try new things that feel true and real to you. It is time to break some of your rules. Were you born March 6th to 10th? Neptune is conjunct to the sun. This can be quite an overwhelming time for you. If this occurs, stop and write it down. Get all that stuff out of your head so you can read it and work out a solution. Okay, so you were born March 12th to the 14th. Pluto is sextile to the sun, offering transformation through opportunities. Sometimes taking the information in and then mulling it over or processing it helps you emerge renewed and yes, transformed, but you need to be willing to do the work. From mid-October, from the 15th to the 28th, you'll be planning a new adventure or more likely future study. Time to work through your stuff now. Prosperity is very possible this year and it will depend on your relationship with you and ensuring you release any and all limiting beliefs. Money in Korea. Mars moves through Sagittarius in your 10th house of Korea from January 3rd through February 17 and you just might be ready to start your own business and or branch out on your own as Mars is giving you extra confidence, energy and drive. This coupled with a go-getter attitude and you trusting your instincts will be the key to your success. Around June 5, maybe the 6th, could see you rewarded and recognized for your achievement. Well done. The second half of 2020 sees you reflect on your financial situation with six months to review and reset your financial goals. Think new job, promotion or income stream. Delays around deals from September 10th through November 12th will actually work out in your favour, so just bide your time. The end of 2020 into 2021, you will have firm financial goals and you are really motivated to make your wealth and goals come true. Love and relationships. An unexpected and exciting development around children or romance on or around June 5, July 2nd and July 22nd, with Mercury and Cancer dramatically linking to unpredictable Uranus in Taurus. And if you're not looking to have a new addition to your family, you have been warned. Otherwise, congratulations. <laughs> Loyalty and who can I trust will be the important questions for you in April, June and November. This is Jupiter and Pluto helping you know your true friends and those who aren't worth your time. Although you will be putting a lot of energy into socialising, you may find you gain a whole new group of friends. August 20 through September 22nd, you are determined to improve communications in a major relationship. Health. Mid-May to late June, you are all about your fitness and working out, eating right and generally looking after you. It is important to take care of you before you can take care of others. Lose the guilt, Pisces. During the Mercury retrograde, June 19 through July 11, take time to evaluate your happiness and pursue what brings you joy. Take time to meditate and schedule large sections of your busy calendar for rest and relaxation as you need quiet time to think. Make a deal with yourself to make regular you time. Otherwise, you won't do it and you need to do it. You deserve to look after you. You are worth it and it will help you improve every other area of your life. Full moon in Pisces, September 2nd. Your intuition is heightened and your dreams are very vivid. You will need to listen and act on your inner guidance. Your instinct and intuition combine to guide you into making an important choice that seems completely from left field and not something that you would normally do but sometimes they are just the right thing for you at that point in time. 
wishing you much love, joy and abundance for 2020. It's the start of a new decade and so much joy and possibility is out there for you if you just simply take action. So don't forget, like and subscribe us. Leave a positive comment below. We'd love to hear your feedback and enjoy the year.